Tell me, she. Come on. I didn't think this day would come. Not gonna lie, in the beginning of the school year, it was kind of tough. College, cleaning, <laughs> dirty shoes. Cupcakers. What is up, so cakers? We are back. I'm gonna give you a recap of my first semester at Hoffa Uni, Hofstra University. Disclaimer: My experience. This is what I know. Not saying what's right for wrong. First off, you know I wanted a camera for Christmas. I just like the way Sharpie smell. I wanted a camera for Christmas, but I decided to get like a pink coat instead. <laughs> so we're still on our iPhone 8, but it still works. Number one, you know, I'm gonna cut this out. Like I'm not even gonna give you a lecture. I'm gonna tell you guys straight up how it is. <laughs> okay, so the first day that I moved into Hofstra, the night before, I was really, really nervous. Mm, sad growing up. I just hope whatever I do in the future is something important, something that makes a difference. Like I was put on this earth for a reason. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I hope it's something that makes my life worthwhile and meaningful. Cause it's different. It's something that you aren't used to. It definitely is a complete change from high school. You're definitely living there 24 seven. Like you can't run back home. My situation, like I couldn't just run back home. I didn't want to run back home. I wanted to deal with problems on my own and you know, like have my space. If you want to go home like every weekend or every other weekend or so, I recommend going to a school that is closer. The first week of classes wasn't even bad. And also, I didn't know about the syllabus. I was like, what the heck is a syllabus? The teachers didn't tell you what's going on in school. Like, they don't tell you unless you look at the syllabus. Like, I know some teachers do, but other teachers, like, they expect you to have the work done. They're not going to tell you what work is done because it's on the syllabus already. So, you have to be ahead of your game make sure you read it. And yes, sometimes you have books that are required before the class, but I say wait till you get to the class to see if you actually need the book. Let's be honest. Like, we want to be great. We're paying money to go to school so we want good grades so take advantage of the opportunities you have around you to help you out if you're struggling so make sure to talk to your advisors so if you feel like there is no help or like you're just gonna stick through it definitely talk to your advisor like it definitely helps when you have the chance to like get to know your professor if you have questions email your professor if you have a problem talk to them go to their office hours yes you will get some professors that won't really help you but you know you have to try to reach out also like Hofstra they provide a tutoring center so I went there a couple times for Spanish I know I'm a Hispanic but when it comes to grammar and Spanish like it's pretty rough because <laughs> I could speak Spanish conversational which is different than from grammar but Definitely, if there is help, if there's a writing center, go to the writing. We have a writing center too at Hofstra. So I've been to the writing center too. I have no shame saying it. I literally have like 10, like eight minutes to like my appointment with the writing center. Ah! And they literally help me write the paper. You can have nothing and they can have a brainstorm, but it'll be better if you have something and they can edit it with you because sometimes it's good to have like another eye looking at it so you feel confident going into it and turning it into your teacher. Join clubs. I joined the soccer club for a little bit. There was also the radio station that I'm currently in right now, WRI2 80.7. Also, I'm gonna be rushing next semester. I'm so excited. I'll film it for you guys. People have been wanting to see Hofstra vlogs because I know a lot of people are looking into Hofstra. This is not sponsored, by the way. Hofstra, if you see this, please sponsor me and make my tuition cheaper. What else? What else? What else? That's what the lady on the um, salad line at Bits and Bites say. Oh, food. The food at Hofstra actually isn't that bad. Freshman, you get a really big meal plan, but it's actually really nice because it's just like money. It's not by swipes, but the food is swampy. You just can't have like a lot of the same food at the same time because it's college food so it's like mass produced like a lot of it you know it's greasy like so you just need to watch what you're eating and just like alternate between things. Ooh, I also got a job on campus from federal work study so if you don't think you are qualified for FAFSA 
fill it out because I got work study from the government and I have a job where I can pick my own hours. I go in when I want, I leave whenever I want. If you're from Hofstra and you have Barnes and Noble's gift cards, you can use Barnes and Noble's gift cards at the bookstore to buy Hofstra clothes. I did not buy this with the gift card. I bought this with my own money. 50 bucks. So, God, girl, you will cry. You will at a point where you're, like, so stressed out. And you're just like, what am I doing? And then you feel like you don't have your life put together. But then, trust me, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to figure it out as you go along. You might see someone being ahead of the game where them doing this, them doing that, but at the end of the day, you will get there as long as you just keep doing what you need to do and then keep opening doors to like new opportunities. You don't need to open doors to all the new opportunities. Like I went to the club fair and I signed up for like almost every club and now they won't stop emailing me. Don't do that either. Learn the hard way. You will find your way. And this is just the first semester of school. I don't even know how it's going to go next semester. People are probably going to make fun of me for this. Also, I learned in the beginning of the year that you do talk to a lot of people, and yeah, everyone's like really nice at first, because you know, everyone's like looking for friends. I wasn't really finding people that I was like clicking with right away, which is normal. You can't expect to find your best friend the first day of school, like that's unrealistic. And if you do, that's great. Don't feel like just because you had one bad situation doesn't mean it's not going to get better from there, because it will get better. You just can't stay in that one space. Forgot one thing, sleep. There's times where I was up at 2 a.m. literally doing nothing just because I, I don't know, I was just like anxious for the next day or I was just bored or prioritize sleep because you will get under eye bags. Oh my god! It's like purple. I don't know, I could have seen last night. Shout out to my girl Sadie, she always does this. I do. Sleep is important. Sleep helps your body heal. Or then you'll get sick a lot. I was kind of sick. I lost my voice like 50,000 times throughout school. There was time where I did waste and I could have not procrastinated and maybe done my work earlier and got more sleep. Sleep is so important because you will get run down. You will get tired. <sighs> like I'm already tired in this video. Also because I went to sleep at 10 and then I woke up at 5. But then I go to sleep at 2 and I wake up at 12. Does that make sense? It's also because I didn't have any early classes, but then I was barely able to make it to class. My early class was at once a week at 10 o'clock and the other two was at 11. And I literally couldn't do it. I mean, I went to class, but it was just rough. Like, I was just tired. Like, tired of what? I went to sleep at two. I used to go to high school. I used to wake up at 6.30. I That's ridiculous. That's crazy. So please prioritize sleep. Because like now, I'm going to try to go take a nap. Because I be yawning and I'm tired. So. Remember to smile, be happy, and spread posse vibes, Pupcaker. <coughs> happy New Year. Make 2020 your... And... Peace out, Pupcakers. Bye-bye. Essential to college that people don't think about is a steamer. So you can't be looking wrinkly.